Dr. Joe Hankey, who learned the Get Out the Vote organizations are looking around. They're trying to find new voters wherever they may. There's energy and enthusiasm, and people want to register to vote, and people want to have these conversations. Ensei Ufat, CEO of the New Georgia Project, says despite the pandemic, they are registering thousands of new voters. What it's meant is instead of going to, you know, a, B, and C lunches uh, at, you know, the local neighborhood high school. Um, it meant that we did a Fortnite tournament, which is the most popular video game in the world. Ufat says the online Fortnite tournament in July, plus phone calls, texts, social media, having volunteers at recent protests and COVID-19 response events, such as food handouts, has all led to 30,000 new voter registrations this year. We've had to take to doing online registering, um, providing QR codes, bit.ly links, and just keeping a, a close eye on how we could get them still engaged and involved and ready to vote. Ariel Singleton says Georgia stand-up has registered 9,000 voters this year. And because of the pandemic, many conversations cover how to vote absentee. The importance of having a voter plan, as we call it, um, knowing how many days you need to request your absentee ballot, um, how many days before the election you need to request it. Once you get it, returning it in, how, what's the deadline of turning it in. And Facebook users starting today will see the Voting Information Center. There's a lot of changing information and a lot of concerns that people might have about making sure that they're voting in the way, you know, that that makes sense for them. Lori Moylan with Facebook says the new feature lets voters register to vote, receive election updates and alerts for their state and vote by mail instructions. Facebook's goal is to register 4 million voters nationwide. 160 million people are expected to see the new voting information center. Um, hopefully a good portion of those 160 million, if they are unregistered, will follow those steps and make sure that they can go vote in November. Joe, based on all the people you've been talking to, I'm curious for voters who are registering for the first time, are there some common reasons why they're choosing to register for this election? Well, Cheryl, from the Georgia-based organizations I talk with today, they said record high unemployment, health care, and the continued push for racial equality. Those are some of the reasons people are registering so they can cast their first ballot this year.